Smaller, lighter, faster, stronger. These are the claims of Renegy's new Duo Heat Mini Core 100 amp hour LifePo 4 battery with self heating function. We're gonna put this little dynamo into the freezer overnight and see how quickly it does its thing once we try to charge it back up. Now we've had this battery installed in the back of our truck running our fridge through the harshest part of winter and we have put it through some paces. So let's give you the details. Now energy density is the name of the game with all of these new LifePo 4 batteries. Everyone wants to put more power into a smaller space and this one certainly fits the bill. At just over 21 pounds, nine inches by five and a half inches by 8.4 inches, this tiny battery has 100 amp hours of energy capacity. In fact, you could easily fit four of these batteries in the same space where we currently have two Renogy LifePo 4 100 amp hour Pro batteries. So it makes a great choice for anyone needing to squeeze some extra power into a tight space. Now with the self heating function, we have found that this battery can handle anything that winter might throw at it. So if you ever do any camping, RVing or boating when the temperatures might fall below freezing overnight, you're gonna wanna stick around and check this out. We installed and tested this battery's predecessor, the Renogy Mini Core 100 amp hour LifePo 4 back in the fall of 2024. And you can see that review right here. That battery worked great for several months, but we've recently been experiencing some winter weather and colder temperatures. And this battery's installation location means it's more exposed to those outside temperatures. Now, while the original Mini Core has a low temperature cut off that protects it from being damaged by colder temperatures, it could not accept a charge when the battery's internal temperature dropped below 32 Fahrenheit or zero Celsius. The new Duo Heat Mini Core has an integrated self-heating function with a more powerful 10 amp, 110 watt heating cycle. The dual heating pads, both above and below the battery cells, bring the battery back up to a temperature where it can accept a charge quicker than other self-heating batteries of the same capacity. But why have a heated battery at all? So there's a lot of talk about LifePo 4 batteries and how low temperatures will affect them, giving the impression that they're the only batteries that struggle in the cold. The truth is, all deep cycle batteries will be limited or damaged by cold temperatures. As temperatures drop, the internal chemical reactions slow down or stop altogether. So most batteries will continue to discharge, that is give out power, to around negative four degrees Fahrenheit, but they won't charge or take in power if the battery core is below freezing. So this is why some LifePo 4 batteries have that self-heating function. Now most modern LifePo 4 batteries have a battery management system known as a BMS. It's a small computer chip that controls the safe operation of the battery and manages the internal heating function if it has one. Now on that Duo Heat Mini Core, the self-heating function will start under the following two conditions. The internal temperature has to be below 41 degrees Fahrenheit or five degrees Celsius. And there has to be a charging source equal to or greater than 10 amps. Now once that internal temp reaches 50 degrees, or 10 degrees Celsius, the heater will turn off. All right, let's see how we did this test. Here's a quick overview of our testing methods. We're gonna turn down the temperature of our Iceco 12 volt fridge freezer to zero degrees Fahrenheit and place the Duo Heat mini core battery inside overnight. Once the temperature is down as low as we can get it in that time frame, we'll hook it up to our camper's electrical system to monitor its discharge and charging rates. While testing, we'll keep the battery ice cold by packing it with ice in a small cooler. We'll use our Renogy 400 watt lightweight solar suitcase to wake up that heating function and recharge the battery. Let's show you how we're monitoring. Now the Duo Heat doesn't come with built-in Bluetooth, so we'll use the Renogy Battery Shunt 300 so that we can view the specs wirelessly on our Renogy One core monitor. You can also do this on the DC Home app. This shunt is a great addition to your off-grid system. In fact, it works with any battery type or manufacturer along with the Renogy One core monitor. But the shunt does have a couple of limitations. First, we'll only be able to see the battery temperature expressed through the shunt's external temperature sensor rather than the internal battery temperature, which we would be able to see if this battery had Bluetooth. We're going to keep the temperature sensor as close to the battery as possible during our test. We'll also have an additional thermometer in the cooler as a control. 
The shunt won't be able to indicate whether the internal heater has kicked on or not. We're just going to have to interpret that information via the voltage specs, which we'll explain later. So we've connected the frozen Duo Heat Mini Core, and we're gonna run some appliances in our camper to ensure that the battery will discharge while it's still frozen. We've turned on our lights, our fan, and our inverter to run our mattress pad heater, which by the way, has been a great addition to our comfort on those frigid winter nights. You can see the battery is discharging at 14.6 amps, and at this rate, we will be fully discharged in two hours and 22 minutes. By removing the load, we'll see the voltage stabilize at 12.9 volts. It's pretty clear that this battery will continue to function and deliver power even in some pretty cold temperatures and a very low SOC to boot. So we won't have to worry about the battery shutting off during a cold night unless the core temp of that battery drops below negative four Fahrenheit or negative 20 Celsius. And let's be honest, we ain't gonna be anywhere if that cold. Now, if we turn on our 400 watt lightweight solar suitcase, we see the voltage immediately jump up to 14.5 volts. This is our indication that there is a charging source tracking through the shunt but the battery is not yet charging. Usually what you'll see on the screen is a combination of the battery's voltage and the charging source voltage combined. So when we see this high voltage, either two things are happening. Either the battery is fully charged, which we know can't be true because it was just at 28%, right? Or the battery isn't charging at all, so we have to assume that the heater is running and making use of some of that power. About 15 minutes later, we see the battery voltage drop to 13.6 volts and the charging amps jump up to 21 amps. Now we can assume that the battery is actually warm enough to start accepting a charge and the time to full charge is three hours and 22 minutes at this current solar output. In those same 15 minutes, we're gonna see a rise in the external battery temperature of nearly 10 degrees, but the control thermometer remains at 24 Fahrenheit. A little later on, we added the 20 amp AC to DC charger to the mix and the charging current approached 34 amps, reducing the charging time to just over two hours. Now we performed three other freeze thaw tests, putting the battery back into the freezer, even in a residential freezer for up to 28 hours. Each time we test it, it only took about 11 to 20 minutes of heating before the battery began charging, depending on how cold the battery was when we started. Now that is definitely a big win. Now for comparison, let's look at what we observed in last year's test with the Renogy Pro 100 amp hour LifePo 4 battery. Now from about 15 degrees Fahrenheit, it took just over an hour to heat up under similar conditions. But this is a physically bigger battery with more mass, and the heater uses less energy and only has one heating pad. Plus, we can also see what's going on directly through the Bluetooth communication when it's talking directly to that BMS. So while this is a useful comparison, it's not necessarily apples to apples. Still, this is a very rapid heating cycle on this Duo Heat battery, and it will get you charging again super quickly. So how fast does it charge up? For this next test, the SOC started at 79%. We connected each of our four charging sources to the Duo Heat to see how long it would take to fully charge back up. With the 20 amp AC to DC charger, looks like about one hour. Now let's try our 50 amp DC to DC charger. Also one hour to full charge. Now let's try charging with solar as we have some good solar gain today. We've just connected our beast of a 400 watt lightweight solar suitcase, which we truly love by the way. And we are on a roll here with one hour. And finally, the baby of the solar family, our 100 watt portable E-Flex solar panel. And this will take nine full hours to fully charge the Duo Heat. Now let's look at strength or those safety features. The BMS on this Duo Heat mini core battery has 25 safety features, including over discharge protection, overcharge protection, overcurrent, short circuit, temperature, battery balancing, and more. This will give you the peace of mind so that you can just set up your solar and forget about it. Now, in addition to these tests, we've also had this Duo Heat mini core battery installed on the back of our truck for over a month and it's been powering our 12 volt ice co fridge freezer flawlessly. During this time, we've seen a lot of different temperatures, including an ice storm, several snowstorms, and many nights below freezing. Trust us, 
This is not our preferred weather conditions, but that's what Mother Nature has been throwing at us this winter in the southeast. And in these real world conditions, the battery just kept on doing its job without us having to baby it at all. So what do we love about this battery? Number one, it is small. At just 21 pounds and about the size of a small lunchbox, it'll fit just about anywhere you need it to in your van, RV, cabin, boat, ice fishing shanty, <laughs> you name it. Number two, it is powerful and has a high capacity at 100 amp hours. Number three, the super quick heating and charging is truly impressive. And the last one, the most important thing for us, we won't have to obsess about fluctuating winter temperatures and their impact on us being able to charge our battery. It will simply do its thing. But nothing is perfect, right? Now, if we could monitor the battery via Bluetooth rather than simply through the shunt, we could see what's going on in greater detail. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal, but it would be nice to be able to see that heating function like we can with other Renogy Pro batteries that we use. So if this is an important factor to you, just consider that when you're looking for batteries. But other than that, y'all, this battery is pretty darn cool and a great way to maximize your battery storage while still getting many of the features common in larger, heavier batteries of the same capacity. Now be sure to use our promo code CANLIFE at checkout to save big on your Renogy order today. See we'll you on, on the road. road.